All right. Caffeine may help you get going, but it does not make up for lack of sleep. Not at all. Sure. And apparently, getting a good night's rest has nothing to do with how much time you actually spend in bed. News 8's Renee Shamil is live for us at a sleep lab in West Haven this morning to explain. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Keith. Good morning, Laura. A new study didn't look at how much sleep you get. It looked at body temperature, and it found if you turn your thermostat down, you might actually sleep better, and that's especially true if you sleep with a lot of bedding, heavy comforters like this one. And it found if you keep your thermostat at about 65 degrees, that's the best. And again, if you do use a lot of bedding, lowering it even more to around 60 degrees could be even better. Researchers found sleep may be more regulated by temperature temperature than light and that's because your core body temperature needs to drop two to three degrees to help you fall asleep and this is where men and women are a little bit different women tend to want to raise the thermostat while men typically want to turn the heat down besides paying attention to your room temperature what else can help you sleep better at night Avoiding stimulants like nicotine and caffeine can help you sleep better. Experts recommend keeping your circadian rhythm as normal as possible. Think of that as your internal clock, and bright light can interfere with that. Even the lighting around your house, you would want it to be dimmer. That way, um, you know, it kind of mimics the nighttime that we're used to um, promoting the part of circadian rhythm that um, encourages sleep. And it's not only lighting that can keep you up. If you watch TV right before you go to bed or if you spend a lot of time on your smartphone or looking at an iPad screen, that can keep you awake too. Reporting live this morning, Renee Schmiel, News 8.